My Super Bowl was history making. It was a nail biter and millions of mayor Americans decided to weigh in online. So joining us right now with a look at the top trends from last night's game is Daniel Seberg, a Google Trends expert. Daniel, thank you for joining us this morning. Let's get right into it. What were some of the top searched ads during the game? Sure, we can stop, uh, start with the top uh, ads, and of course that's a big part of the reason why anybody watches uh, the Super Bowl, and we know it's a very two-screen, second-screen experience, people watching uh, on YouTube. In fact, we've seen 350,000 hours spent uh, watching ads on YouTube uh, thus far. That's up 15%. So the top ad that we saw was from Budweiser, the Born the Hard Way, which is about the story of uh, Anheuser and Bush and Bush's origins coming from Germany. Uh, number two was Bud Light, uh, the ghost of Spuds McKenzie. Uh, some of us are old enough to remember when Spuds McKenzie was featured in the 80s and 90s. Uh, the Hyundai ad, which was, which was really cool, it was actually shown after the game, uh, featuring um, some troops serving overseas, able to participate in viewing the game in a 360-degree environment virtually with their loved ones, which was pretty awesome. Um, the Kia ad uh, starring Melissa McCarthy, uh, she was a, a so-called eco-warrior, um, which generated a lot of buzz. And then the Justin Bieber ad for T-Mobile, um, all about unlimited moves. Um, those were our top five. <laughs> were there any unique or surprising searches? You know, I would say that a, a few stood out. Uh, we always like to look at the, the top questions uh, that people have, and uh, one of them was, uh, how old is Lady Gaga? Of course, uh, she performed uh, during the halftime uh, show. She's 30, uh, in case you're wondering. Um, how does overtime work uh, in the NFL? This is the first, game that, uh, first Super Bowl game that went into overtime. People not sure about the procedures there. Uh, who owns Alfa Romeo uh, was another top question. Um, it's Fiat Chrysler. They're trying to make a big comeback here in the U.S. with the Alfa Romeo. Uh, how many points uh, in a touchdown? This was one that came from Florida, actually, is one of the top five uh, questions there. So again, for some of the fair-weather football fans out there, they're not sure of uh, everything going on. And then finally, how old is Morgan Freeman? Um, <laughs> And uh, I, I will tell you, he is uh, 79, looks great. He'll be turning uh, 80 a little bit uh, <laughs> later in the year. I'm surprised by that Florida question. Come on. How many I'm, doing, points I'm your personal it's... Google, just right here. I'm surprised by that because Florida's such a big football state. I would think that everybody would know how many points are in a touchdown. But, yeah, yeah, Come on, never Florida. Know. You Daniel, know, we, uh, aside that, from that's the... That's one of those things that we get surprised over, yeah. Aside from the obvious being Tom Brady, uh, what other athletes were trending last night? So, yeah, Tom Brady, uh, amongst his other accolades from last night, he also wins most searched player uh, from, from the Super Bowl. But behind him, uh, Julio Jones, uh, wide receiver from the Falcons. Uh, Julian Edelman, who made a, an unbelievable uh, catch towards the end of the game uh, from the Patriots. Um, those are our, our top three uh, players that were searched. But Matt Ryan was in there, Devonta Freeman. Um, they were among the top five as well. You mentioned Lady Gaga talked about the uh, halftime performance. What are people online saying about the show? Well, you know, I think it's uh, largely been uh, a favorable response. Um, she, in fact, in search, she spiked past Tom Brady and Matt Ryan during the halftime show, um, which, which says a lot about the interest in her. Um, I know a, a good number of people, including my wife, who tuned in um, just to see uh, Lady Gaga perform. She had these amazing acrobatics and somehow through it all was able to say uh, hi to her mom and dad, yeah, which I, I thought was... Uh, kind of amazing, uh, and then dropped the mic and caught the ball at the end. I mean, I don't know what else you can say. It was a pretty phenomenal performance. Yeah, she's an excellent performer. I thought it was fantastic. We've been watching it mm -hmm. again and again in the newsroom. Uh, definitely an awesome, awesome one to remember for sure. Uh, let's turn to Florida now. What were the top searches for food and beer here in the Sunshine Most State? Importantly. <laughs> Yes, well, so it turns out that uh, folks in Florida love their spinach artichoke dip. Uh, this was the top uh, food recipe, essentially, that was searched uh, going into the game. And then ale as the, the top beer. Now, that was we saw that pretty consistently uh, across the U.S. Arkansas was Porter. Uh, on the West Coast, we saw some IPAs or India Pale Ales, but ale by far the most uh, searched beer. And, uh, it, it, you know, that sounds like a party to me. Spinach artichoke dip and some ale. Uh, that, that's a pretty good combo uh, for watching the Super Bowl. It's funny that you mentioned the spinach artichoke dip because I went to a Super Bowl party last night and there were four different <laughs> that's what people brought. That's funny. There was like a battle for who had the best spinach artichoke <laughs> dip. Daniel Steberg, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so maybe your it's time. like a homemade variation on it or something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Thank you My so pleasure. much. Thanks. Take care.